Stormworld is an Australian-Canadian television drama series aired on the Nine Network in 2009 in Australia and first aired on Space March 2009 in Canada with a repeat broadcast in August 2009. The show follows two boys, Jason Andrew Jenkins and Lee Callum Worthy, after they are transported to an alien world, Storm world with three sons, through a vortex while on a boat trip that started in Vancouver, Canada. The boys receive help from Fleas Valentina Baron, a seasoned veteran of living on Stormworld who has a special boat named Stormrider. The boys, as new arrivals or «access crashers», as the local inhabitants call them, find shelter at the settlement. Stormworld is the destination for people and objects from many different worlds. Transport to Stormworld happens when a vortex is created between Stormworld and another world by large beetle-like insects. The surface of Stormworld is a salt water ocean with many islands that have a generally hot climate. Fresh water is a scarce resource that is central to the survival of all inhabitants. This leads to everyone constantly searching for fresh water, including the fabled Great Water. Trade and barter of the objects brought through the vortices operate as the basis of the inhabitants' economy. Topic: People. There are three principal groups of inhabitants on Stormworld: the Settlement, the Arcodians, and the Drogue. Conflict between the groups happens regularly on the show. Topic: The Settlement. The settlement is a constitutional-based village with democratic principles. The settlement is located at the Sighing Peaks on an island. It was founded by Werelda who wrote its constitution. When Jason and Lee arrive Werelda is the leader. High on a hill not far from the settlement is a beacon that flashes a bright light at regular intervals to attract other access crashes after arriving in a vortex. Arcodians The Arcodians are a tightly hierarchical society run by the Patriarchs. They live on an island a significant distance away from the settlement. Each Arcodian requires more water per day than a human. Some of the Arcodians are armed with lasbolts. Unlike most of the other people on Stormworld, the Arcodians appear to have arrived as a group on a large boat. Topic: The Drogue. The Drogue are a small band of thugs that prey on the settlement and collect objects from the vortices. They are equipped with flybikes that are armed with energy cannons. Topic: The Abiders. The Abiders were a race of people who occupied Stormworld some time ago. They placed the sighing peaks in order to create a map and presumably were the creators of the portal that leads off the planet. Topic: Stormworld geography. Stormworld has geography that is very different from Earth. The first major difference easily noticed are the three suns, a yellow sun, a blue sun and a red sun. The three suns have a strong effect on the geography, flora and fauna of the planet. Because of the increased solar radiation, Stormworld is a very hot planet. This heat means there is a severe lack of fresh water available for the inhabitants. 
Water rationing and conservation is everyone's first concern. The lack of water also means fewer plants or animals are available as food sources. There are indigenous plants and animals to Stormworld that the people use for food, although a significant amount of the food is brought to Stormworld through the vortices. The members of the settlement augment their collected food with a garden though it is not large. The Arcodians maintain a diet that is strictly focused on a type of seaweed. The drogue just take food from everyone else, or what they can gather from vortices. Each day on Stormworld lasts 30 hours. When the red sun is the only sun in the sky, the blood kelp in the ocean becomes carnivorous. The blood kelp will crawl onto boats and coastal shores to devour people. Once the yellow sun rises, the blood kelp retreats back into the ocean. There are several natural phenomena that are dangerous to everyone, vortices, winders, twisters and mistles. <laughs> vortices Vortices create a connection from Stormworld to other planets, then draw people and objects to Stormworld. It is dangerous to be near a vortex on Stormworld because the objects come through with great force. Each vortex is started on Stormworld by the swarming of large beetle-like insects that are about 20 cm by 10 cm in size. When the insects disperse, the vortex ends. Vortices typically last a few minutes as they move with the swarm. The swarming of the insects happens after they have been excited by mistles. <laughs> Winders Winders look like horizontal lightning that can flow over the land. Each winder is composed of several electric threads. They are very deadly, but the Arcodians have learned to handle them with grounding rods. Winders are attracted to mental activity. The origin of the winders is revealed at the end of Season 1. Twisters Twisters appear as small, fast-moving tornadoes that move over land. One or several can appear at the same time. A twister is composed of air so extremely dry that all water is removed from any person it makes contact with. People become completely dehydrated so quickly their bodies turn to dust. Topic: Mistles. Mistles appear as sparkling banks of slow-moving fog. They are highly charged with energy. Contact with a mistal leads to mental debilitation, or worse, death. Mistles cannot affect someone underwater. Topic: Equipment. Cougar, the boat that Jason and Lee arrive with. The boat is quickly stolen from them by the drogue. Stormrider, the special boat currently owned and captained by Fleas. She and her father built the boat from parts of the airplane they arrived in, plus some additional materials scavenged. Stormrider is unique because it can also submerge itself like a submarine. Piloting this craft is difficult in part because of the various scavenged materials used. Valigant, the boat Kelios uses. It seems to be powered by collecting electromagnetic energy, and appears to function in much the same way as the settlement's beacon. Lasbolts, the weapons of the Arcodians. The lasbolts shoot bolts of energy that are lethal. They look like spears with large shells on the ends. 
while deadly they are also seen to be inaccurate. Flybikes, the flying motorcycle-like crafts used by the drogue to raid for water, food and materials. They are equipped with weapons called stun bolts that can both stun and kill people. The stun bolts are very accurate. Topic: <laughs> Characters. There is a large cast of characters for Stormworld with most of the action centering on Jason, Lee, Fleece, Ogie and Kelios across all of the episodes. Jason Andrew Jenkins is an athletic, high-energy, positive person who has strong leadership qualities. Lee is his best friend, also from Earth and arrived on Stormworld at the same time. Jason is the pilot of the boat named Cougar. In the final episode he decides to stay behind with Fleas and Ogie, and become leader of the settlement. Lee Callum Worthy is an intelligent, savvy and logical individual with a strong scientific mind. He arrived on Stormworld with his best friend, Jason. Lee wants very much to return to Earth, which he does in episode 26. Fleas Valentina Baron arrived seven years ago with her father, an engineer, after their small aircraft was drawn through a vortex from Earth. Flea's father disappeared four years after their arrival on Stormworld when he went out kayaking. Now 15 years old, she has continued an ongoing search to find her missing father for the past three years. Her searching has provided her with an excellent knowledge of geography of Stormworld. Luce regards Flea's as an older sister. Kelios Lim K. Tong is also known as the Navigator. On his home world Marin Kelios was a fisherman. On Stormworld he is a trader with a small sailing vessel who is trying to collect information to learn where the portal is for people to return to their home planets. His methods are often viewed as being sneaky or self-serving. Ogi Andrew Cavadas is an alien that appears as a large glowing ball. On his home planet of Apotheosia, which has a lower gravity than Stormworld his normal form is much larger. Ogi is a very intelligent being but he has limited mobility on Stormworld and relies chiefly on fleas for transportation. He is very talkative and more than willing to display his mental prowess. Werelder Michelle Fornasia is the leader and founder of the settlement. On her home world she was a teacher in a strong caste society. Before coming to Stormworld she had ideas about different types of order for society and implemented them once she arrived on Stormworld. Werelder founded the settlement at the Sighing Peaks because she believes they were created by the Abiders. Luce Chelsea Jones is a young, strong-minded girl of the settlement. She arrived on Stormworld very young and has been raised by Werelda. Macken Casimir S.A.s is a crafty and devious person who has manipulated circumstances to his advantage. He has become Werelda's deputy for the settlement. He arrived from his home world of Waxen as the third son of a politically powerful family. In the last episode he is pushed through the portal, but because he was holding a lasbolt, he is instead sent to Arcodia. This displacement causes the destruction of the portal. Hinter Steve Turner is a pragmatic but unimaginative member of the settlement. He believes that Werelder's flexibility with the Constitution and open door policy for new access crashes places the community at risk. He is the first to challenge Werelder's leadership. Gundrel Amanda Woodhams, a young woman from the planet Leffer who resides alone on one of the smaller, remote islands that Flees calls Loose Island. Chagkus Kingsley Judd. 
Toff, Craig Hyde Smith is a young boy in the settlement. He is the keeper of the beacon. Linraid, Bryn Coldrick. Horamir, Keegan Kang. La, Clarence Ryan. Golhati, Lilanthi Wedakara is the leader of the drogue. She arrived from her home world of Karame along with the other members of the drogue plus their technologically advanced flybikes. She is a hard leader who regards all other people as inferior. Garlindi Kelly Paternity, a member of the drogue. Tor Salter Lucy Cook, a member of the drogue. She challenged Golhati's leadership, was defeated in Golhati's test, and left to perish. Tam Valder, Farron Wood, a member of the drogue. Paul Dugler, Sean Ewers, a member of the drogue. Vassler Adam Solis is a young Arcodian born on Stormworld. He is outspoken for an Arcodian and a more flexible thinker than most Arcodians. He becomes friends with Jason, Lee, Fleas and Ogi. Voss George Shevetsov is the patriarch leader of the Arcodians. He is a very strict, dogmatic person accustomed to power and very resistant to change. He has a strong bias against non-Arcodians. Mafani Anna Bowett is an Arcodian. She is arranged to marry Voss in the future. Initially she adheres very strongly to the Arcodian way, but becomes more open-minded as the series progresses. Callahan David Smith is an "...access crasher", rescued from the severe desert conditions of the island interior by Jason and Lee. He was injured by a mistal leaving him mentally damaged. Dressler Murray Dowsett Vassler's father. Apst Nick Simpson Deeks, Voss hot-headed protege. Defra Angelique Malcolm, Vassler's mother. Jawson Kim Bidstrup. Kessel Vito De Francesco. Hills Jeremy Levi. Topic Episodes. Stormworld consists of 26 episodes equals <laughs> equals international syndication <laughs>